Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a bunch of products that I recently got at TJ Maxx. These are products and brands that you've heard of that I found at way cheaper prices. The amount that I spent on this makeup at TJ Maxx was $63.50, and had I bought all those products retail, I would have spent $177. So I saved 64% on these products as a whole, and there are high-end products in here, drugstore products in here, but all at drugstore prices prices found at TJ Maxx. So whether you're looking for even more affordable drugstore makeup or you're dying to have some of those name brand products in your makeup bag, you just can't afford them, I hope this video will be helpful to you because these are amazing, amazing deals. So if you are interested in all the products that I purchased, then just keep on watching. So the first product I picked up was this Milani eyeshadow because the name of it attracted me to it. It says gel powder eyeshadow. So I read about it on Milani's website and it says it's supposed to start as a gel kind of feeling like a gel and then it turns into a powder and you can use it wet or dry depending on the finish that you want. And on Milani's website, this retails for $5. At TJ Maxx, I found this for $1.99. And another reason I was attracted to this product is one of the problems with buying makeup at TJ Maxx is they have such a big problem with people opening makeup in the store and using it. And with packaging like this, I'm actually having trouble opening it. You know it hasn't been tampered with. And as always with Milani, it has beautiful packaging. Let's go ahead and swatch this shade. This is the shade Bella Sand and it's a shimmer. At first it doesn't feel like a gel formula at all, but as you break down that first layer, it starts to feel a little bit more soft, a little bit more gel-like, but I would say it still feels like a powder. But just look at that on my finger already. Ooh, that is such a stunning shade. You could even probably get away with using this as a highlighter, just like a golden iridescent highlighter. Absolutely beautiful, just like an understated sheen on the lid or would be perfect, like I said, for a highlighter. And $1.99, I mean, less than half the price that you would buy had you paid retail. All right, next up was my most expensive purchase, but it comes with three products in the set. This is the Laura Geller Perfect Pair Three-Piece Glowing Complexion Collection. You guys are gonna laugh at me, but whenever I can't sleep or I'm just feeling really anxious and I need to get my mind off of things, I'll turn on QVC because for some reason, I find it super relaxing. I remember this being on QVC for over $50, and I spent $14.99 for all three of these. So let's see what this comes with. It comes with a brush that looks like a joke. Let me open this. You have got to be kidding me. When I looked at this in the packaging, it looked like this was gonna be like an actual brush, but this is just kind of a glorified foam applicator, like the ones that come in those eyeshadow palettes. This is literally just foam right here on both sides. So it feels completely cheap and flimsy. Not impressed by that. This also comes with the Real Deal concealer as well as a highlighter. So let's hope those are a little bit better, otherwise this was a total fail. All right, this is the Real Deal concealer. So this is in the shade Light. Looks like a pretty decent concealer. Obviously I'm not trying it on my face, but just kind of on my arm, it looks like a pretty decent coverage. And then it also came with a baked highlighter. This is in the shade French Vanilla. This is what it looks like. All of these seem to be very, very mini. Okay, so this is the baked highlighter up underneath the concealer, and I don't see any sort of a sheen to it whatsoever. So it sort of just looks like a setting powder, like a brightening setting powder, but definitely not like a baked highlighter should look. So between this really flimsy brush and this so-called highlighter, I would say that this was not worth the $14.99 just for this concealer because this may not be good either. All right, this next product I got is something I've been really wanting to try anyway, and when I saw it at such a great price, I had to pick it up, and it is the L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Powder Eyeliner Pen. This retails for $7.99, and I got it at TJ Maxx for $2.99. And because I have like hazel brown eyes, I love using the color purple because I feel like it really brings out my eyes. So of course I bought the shade 704, which is purple smoke. All right, so let's open this up. Oh, I'm like trying to pull it, it's a twist off. <laughs> okay, so it looks like it's already completely saturated, so let's go ahead and swatch this. Ooh, that's pretty. It's got like a metallic to it, but it's going on a little bit chunky. Let me see if I can blend it out. I think it just had some chunks in there from being in the packaging, but this color is beautiful. It's like a metallic purple. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this and trying this out on my eyes. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. The next product that I got is something I already know that I love, so I'm not even gonna test it out, but it is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. So for those of you that aren't familiar with this, it's just a exfoliator for your lips. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's in the form of a lipstick, but it has some grit to it. There's like grain. 
I just opened this up and the lipstick is completely detached from the packaging. I've never had that problem before, so I don't know what the deal is with this one because I've purchased many of these lip exfoliators, which by the way on ELF's website are $3 or at Target, wherever you buy them, they're $3. And I got this one for $1.50, so I was really excited, but it's broken. All right, just gonna move on. We're just gonna forget about it and move on. Next up is this Too Faced Bulletproof 24-hour eyeliner. It says line it, blend it, smoke it. So this is another very similar to this L'Oreal one where it's kind of like a smoky eyeliner concept. This retails for $22 on Too Faced website and I got it for $4.99. So this was an amazing deal. I got mine in the shade Dirt Bag. So this has more of like a stick eyeshadow type of applicator and then on the other side is the smudger end. So let's see what this shade looks like. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's a brown with some golden shimmer running through it and it says it's waterproof 24 hour wear. That's amazing. For $4.99, I'm definitely going to be trying this out both as an eyeliner and as like an all-over eyeshadow. If I want to go for a really dark, intense, brown, smoky eye. Definitely excited about this one and one of the best deals out of anything else that I bought. Alright, next up I got a lip gloss that I have not seen in forever. I think these are discontinued and this is the NYX Extreme Shine Lip Cream. So I got this for $1.99 and this formula was not on NYX's website anymore, but just looking at the very comparable products on their site and their average price, I would guess these retailed for around $4.99, $5, so over 50% savings here. I got mine in the shade Natural. Let's see what this one looks like. Ooh, that is some intense pigment. I thought this was gonna be like a gloss. That is a fully pigmented lipstick, but I'm not sure I would call that natural. It looks very pink, almost like a peony shade to me, but a beautiful, beautiful color. I definitely wanna try this out on my lips. All right, moving right along to a Kat Von D eyeshadow palette. So this is an eyeshadow trio. These are also no longer sold. They were exclusive to Sephora, but they are no longer sold there. So I don't know if they were limited edition or if they didn't do well, but this is the True Romance Eyeshadow Trio. When this was on Sephora's website, it retailed for $24 and I got it for $9.99. I think Kat Von D has some of the most beautiful packaging and this is no exception. Again, I went for the very purpley plum shades because that's what's flattering on my eye color. This one comes with two shimmer shades. So you've got this kind of like highlighter shimmer, this deeper transition or crease color, and then a darker shimmer color for all over the lid or for the outer corner. And this palette is called Fever Ray. So that's the name of these shades. So let's start with this one. Ooh, it feels really creamy to the touch. That is a beautiful shade. It's like an iridescent pink. Let's check this one out. This is the middle shade. Not super pigmented. Let me see if I swatch it again once I'm past that first layer. No, still pretty patchy, especially for a high-end eyeshadow. And then this is the deeper shade. It's pretty, but it felt drier than that first shade that I swatched. And I would probably tell you guys to steer clear even if I had paid a wet and wild price for this because I just don't think it's very good. So I would say this is another fail. And this next one is probably the one I am most excited for. And it is the Too Faced La Matte Color Drenched Matte Lipstick. So this lipstick retails for $22 and I got mine for $5.99, which is 100% drugstore price. So this is supposed to have a matte finish, but it's also moisture rich with lotus flower and and power peptide. And the packaging is gorgeous. It feels really luxury, it feels heavy, feels like metal. And the reason I was so excited about this is because I got the shade Maneater, which is a super perfect looking fall color. It is so vampy and so deep. I was so excited to swatch it, but I didn't because I was waiting for the video. So let's see how it looks on the arm. Okay, so first swipe a little bit sheer. Let's give it one more swipe on top. Pretty. It went on just a little bit streaky, not completely opaque, but overall I think the color is beautiful and I'm excited to apply it to my lips. Right, I only have two more products left to share with you guys and this next one was the second most expensive product I picked up and it is the Smashbox Blush in the shade Radiance and this one is discontinued. This retails for, or this did retail for $24 and I purchased it for $11.99. I thought this shade was really beautiful to add to my makeup kit, but let's see what it looks like swatched because it looks really really intense in the packaging it looks like a hot pink but a lot of times these kinds of really intense shades swatch really beautifully or go onto the cheeks really beautifully let's see what this one looks like 
yeah, it definitely shears out a lot when on the arm. I swatched it twice because I like to get past that layer of film, but it swatched the same both times. It's definitely a lot more sheer when it's swatched on the arm, but you guys know I prefer that with a blush. I don't want blushes that swatch like eyeshadows because that's way too intense, especially with a color like this. All right, the last product that I purchased is from a brand I've never actually tried before, and the brand is Bite Beauty. So they came out with these kind of dual-sided lipsticks in a holiday collection and they were limited edition. I don't see them for sale anymore. But when they were out, they sold for $14 and I purchased this for $6.99. So like I said, it's a dual-sided lipstick. It's also very mini. You guys can see it's a baby little lipstick. Like if you compare this to the Too Faced one, you can see it's a much smaller than average lipstick, much skinnier than average lipstick. So this is the shade Date. It's right up my alley. Absolutely beautiful feeling formula. So creamy, so buttery and then this is the shade fig which looks a lot pinkier but still beautiful both absolutely beautiful shades and this formula feels fantastic and that is everything that I got in this TJ Maxx haul I really hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe saw something that looked a little bit interesting to you something you've been wanting to try or a brand you've been wanting to try that you can now try for a lot cheaper so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this type of a video please give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next one